G'day, welcome to Custom Craft and Adventure. My name is Derek. Uh, this channel was found a few years ago originally uh, to record the, the precious moments of camping and four wheel driving. Uh, eventually, my wife and I found the fun of making stuff not just for camping and four wheel driving, uh, but also for everyday stuff. So, if you like this kind of co uh, content, please subscribe uh, uh, just below the video, press like and notification. So in this particular rainy day, I'm just going to continue my canopy build. Uh, as you can see, the panels are all up uh, because of time, uh, and I wasn't really very familiar with the process of gluing aluminum sheet, and that's why I did a bit of experiment, uh, and also did a bit of panels as well. Uh, so panels was hard to do. Uh, so if you are interested in how I actually did them, i put a link somewhere up here, um, so you can see uh, the previous video of how to bend aluminum sheet without using professional equipment. Uh, so, I might give you a, a few clips uh, later on in this video to, to show you how I actually glue the sheets on as well, uh, so you can have a bit of idea of how, how that is done. Uh, now, the canopy rooftop. I'm very excited uh, today because um, the, the canopy build is moving towards the end. I've got, uh, this is a bit of a sad moment, but I really enjoy the building process. So the, the canopy rooftop looks like this at the moment. It looks like a uh, bit of a roof rack, but it is not a roof rack. It is a sleeping compartment. Uh, so I've got to build a frame, and I'm trying to keep the frame heavy duty as much as I can. Um, uh, well, and for obvious reason, because it's a roof, uh, and then after the frame's done, uh, I'm gonna glue some sheets on top as well. Now I'll show you the process of uh, of this panel beating, all right? Uh, and after that, we'll move on to the, to the doors, and I'm still waiting for the door locks to come through by uh, by a reputable post uh, shipping company. Don't know what's going on, but other stuff has come, but the door locks hasn't come yet. All right, so what I'll be using today is this particular miter saw. It's called a compound sliding miter saw. Um, it's a very cheap brand, uh, and in saying that, it's still actually very capable. Um, you know, that that is something you can get from a local hardware store. Um, so the good thing about it is it slides in and out, and it, it, is, it has a compound angle that you can change as well, not just the, the horizontal uh, mitre. Um, but the bad thing about this is the horizontal mitre is not accurate, and they've got the slots in there, so you can't really adjust. So in other words, the horizontal mitre is absolutely useless. So what I'll be doing today for the mitre cuts is to use this compound mitre, uh, because I can actually fine tune the angle um, using an angle finder I've got from a local hardware store. The local boys in here sells them. Um, so I'll be able to find this at absolute 90 and when I pivot it on the side to the end of it, it's absolutely 45. But in saying that, the miter saw is never really an accurate tool for, uh, for precise cuts. So it's a bit of a rough job as well. So I'll build this frame, weld it up and uh, we'll see how it goes, eh?
So I thought I'd give you a tip of making panels. Um, so I'm in the process of making this frame, uh, but this is very tricky because that is the last, second last piece of this uh, roof frame, uh, and it happens to be a compound angle, so it needs to come this way and down that way. Um, so this piece is done, and I want to make a clone of this piece, but it's a mirror image. So how, what is the easiest way to make this? Now the answer is using a piece of paper. So what I've done, I, um, I use a piece of paper and press that, uh, the interior of the angle line. I've cut this paper out and I'll just quickly show you. I'm going to flip this the opposite side. So, so you're cutting out the mirror image. So you basically unfold this piece of paper on this angle line, if you can see it. And then you, you draw lines, uh, in, uh, 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 you follow the edge of the paper and draw the lines on the angle line and just cut the lines. And that's basically the replica uh, of that piece, that compound angle piece on the other side. Well, essentially they're identical twins. I can even weld them together if I want to make them make it an aeroplane. Alright, so guys, the um, the roof top frame is done. Uh, so it's not perfect. Uh, it's a little bit twisted, but it's all right. Uh, with this within uh, the small amount of error. So uh, the next step is to get the panels done. So what I'll be doing first is to take this off uh, the camper and give it a good clean, give it a good grind, so make sure everything is flat. Uh, and then I'll show you how to get the panels done one by one. Alright, I thought I just want to share a good tip about gluing aluminium sheet to aluminium frame. So aluminium to aluminium, if you like. Or I think that probably applies to all, um, you know, metal to metal, metal to plastic, or metal to, even metal to wood. Um, so that is, before you actually apply the glue, you have to scratch. I was told by a professional to scratch. Um, the surface of both sides uh, so obviously that's because of the surface area and then uh, the glue grips a little bit better so it's unlikely to come apart so I thought I just want to share with you about this tip I haven't tried this before but I think if I follow this direction it should work very well all right so that's what I've done uh, I've just used a really rough sandpaper uh, I think around 40 grit uh, to just rough it out on the surface and that's basically what you are looking for I believe uh, if you can see those and I believe this is ready uh, and also before before you glue you apply glue you've got a uh, use some acidic uh, uh, some acetone to uh, just clean off the surface make sure there's no grease things like that likewise you do it on the sheet um, this is so satisfying. Uh, I just mark where it needs to be scratched um, or if you like sand it and I'll take these panels off and I'll, I'll do them one by one. I got one of this bad boy uh, the other day. Let's see how it works. It should be very good. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. Okay, let's, let's try that.
It's so nice. Yes, I'm making the cream. Here we are, panels. Uh, so what I want to start is this easiest panel at the back. Uh, no bending involved, just cutting. Now the trick of this little camper design is that I've got to have a little bit excess uh, from here to there, about maybe 40 to 50. Um, and I think I just got the right one for it. So a little off cut from the previous panels and it fits in just fine. Look at that. Alright guys, check this out. That is the first roof panel. The smallest and the easiest panel I've put on. It's not stuck yet, but I just want to show you uh, how easy it was. So a couple of corners, that was cut out and that was this. That, that was it. This is the panel. Now, the, the next panel is going to be the hardest because it involves four bends. Um, how to bend a, an aluminium sheet. There's a separate video up there. Just You can tap, tap in and have a look. Uh, there is a trick to do so using a router. Now I, I, uh, I do need to know this measurement, uh, the distance from here to there, so I can make the first band accurately, as well as here, of course. Now I better get to work, uh, that's lots to be done. Right, guys, before I start today's work, I'd like to share with you uh, a technique that I've learned from a different channel. Uh, if you like, I'll put a link in the description so you can have a, have a look at the, at, at, that, at, at the channel's video as well. Uh, so, it is about making panels. Uh, you use a piece of paper 
And very often you get really dirty hands and you use the dirt on the hands to mark the edge of the panel. So um, it tells you exactly where the panel should be, especially when the panel involves a bend or some curves. Uh, and it's a bit of a basics of metal shaping and metal forming, uh, especially in automotive industry. So what I'll be doing, I'll be using this dirty finger method to mark the edge of this panel in the front because in the front it's a little bit harder to do. It involves um, a compound bend. So I have, to know, I have to use this method to know exactly which edge to bend. Um, yeah, and now uh, I, I'm not gonna show you how, how that is done. You can check the guy's video and see, to see how that is done. All right, but I'll show you how it looks like at the end. 